Hello and welcome back to the third. Welcome back to the dark, dank sewers of Grand Cell. We are here in, what is this, Moon Door 2? And we are learning how Shara and Aina met each other during this uh, little adventure five years ago. Or, I guess, six years ago now. So, Aina is being hunted down by some uh, men in black who have been hired by her uncle, I believe. Because Aina is about to inherit a bunch of money from their grandfather. From her grandfather. And that's not going over so well with Mr. Moneybags. Well, Shara's been roped into this as a junior bracer because she's been hired to protect her, sort of. Originally, she was supposed to just be a tour guide. And, you know, wasn't very honest about why she wanted a bracer with her. Let's see. We have a lot of pathways we can go down. I'll try this. This feels like an item. Actually, this might be progress. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, it won't even move, huh? Is it not budging? Hmm. Stay quiet for a minute. I'll handle this. Sherizard removed a rock from the bottom of the device and placed her hand inside. Interesting. Why was this necessary? Wow, <laughs> you really are amazing. But not for this. This isn't all that different from breaking into a safe, to be honest. Really, though, you shouldn't be impressed by these kinds of things or getting used to them. Why? There are some things in life you're just better off not knowing. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen all of a sudden. And some things you're better off not being able to do. Let's talk a little bit about Shara. The entire town smelled like a rotting open drain and was reviled even for a slum. The people who ended up there were largely those who couldn't be accommodated in a prison, those who had been driven out of the cities, or children who had been abandoned there like yesterday's garbage. I did whatever I had to do in order to survive and live to see another day. Picking pockets at every opportunity was a habit I picked up from a very young age. Anything that caught my eye, I took. But even then, I didn't end up with enough to live on. There were always men there who made their living by taking from people like me. The surest way to make money was stealing from the safes of the rich when they were out to their mansions. The residential area full of wealthy people on the other side of the river, accessible through an underground sewer, was a perfect target for this. Every time I felt hungry, I sneaked inside of one of the mansions and made use of the skills I felt like I'd known since the day I was born. The most important thing to remember when doing this was not to take everything in one go. Instead, the key was to take only a small amount each time, enough to get by, but not enough for the mansion's owner to notice anything was gone. With a simple piece of wire, I had access to enough Mira to live for a couple more weeks. Before I knew it, I was doing it every day building up a stockpile of money instead of simply taking what I needed in the short term. And boy, I paid the price for it. I had it all taken from me by the men of the slums and ended up being kicked and stomped on until I coughed up blood. Everyone did what they did, or they said they did as much anyway, so that they could keep on living. always pretending to be desperate as an excuse to live by any means, but always taking the easiest road they could find. The town I lived in was devoid of energy, but full of filthy humans like them, and like me. Again and again I thought about giving it up, again and again I said to myself that I wanted to stop, but I couldn't do it. I hated myself for what I was doing, I hated the fact that I couldn't stop. It was because I didn't want to return to that life that I ended up becoming a bracer. Because if I didn't, I was scared I would end up right back where I was. The troop had saved me from that place and had made me into a respectable human being. But when I lost them, I was afraid. One thought stood out above all the rest. No matter how much I tried to forget, no matter how used I became to my new life, no matter how much I tried to deny it, I was yesterday's garbage from the slums, 
and nothing I could do would change that. And that's it, really. One day, I'm sure I'll end up returning there. That's why I need to be strong. To stay strong. What job I do doesn't even matter. Anything I can pour my heart into that'll let me live an honest life is fine. Anything that keeps my mind off the past. Anything that lets me keep the ugliness in my heart at bay. If it makes me strong without relying on others, then it's fine. It's fine. I need to be strong. Stronger than anyone. Stronger than anyone. But am I? Am I really doing alright in my new life? Am I really getting stronger? Am I Lucy? Miss Sherizard? Are you alright? You're looking very gloomy all of a sudden. It's nothing. I'm fine. As soon as I finish this job, Kurt will give me the last recommendation I need. I can finally become a real bracer. Then no one will be able to tell me I'm not strong. I won't let them. I will be strong. Anyway, we're leaving. Wait a second. Miss Sherizard? As soon as I finish this job. So there you go. Cher is carrying a lot around with her, and she always has been. Now, what uh, might be a little interesting is we don't really know a lot about where Shara was uh, prior to <laughs> the uh, her becoming part of the Harvey troop. Now, there is one line that is mentioned, that is said, I found very interesting. Do you take joy in yanking out others' insights? Ew. Let's not do that. Um, the line that I'm referring to uh, occurs in second chapter during, uh, damn it, when we actually come to Grand Cell, and uh, the, uh, the the group, the team, is asked to go to the Herborough Villa to pick up a lost child, referring to Ren, of course. And when they meet Ren, she's at the uh, at the bar area in the uh, the villa. That's where she's hiding. Ren makes uh, some open remarks about Shara. How she how she looks, her appearance. You know, she asks like, "Why do you dress like that?" Or, "Aren't you cold?" Or something. But she also asks uh, some questions about like where she's from, like where she was born. And she mentions like uh, lands that are south to the south. Like I'm, I can't remember what the exact language is used. So bringing this up now will give me a chance to put it in here and uh, read it again for myself. I may have said something back in the second chapter playthrough about how interesting it was then. Because, uh, as I've said before, there's not a whole lot known about Zemuria beyond, uh, beyond, like, what we can see of it. The maps were given. Or even whether or not there's anything other than Zemuria itself. Like, obviously, we've seen the far, uh, west coastline of Laburl. We know that uh, Ruan sits on coast, that there is, uh, what are the two bays called? I believe Azalea Bay and Titith Bay. And uh, Erebonia as well, to the north, uh, has a western coastline. So what's beyond the land itself? Is there anything else in this world is something we don't really know too much about. Maybe we'll get answers to those kinds of questions someday. But it also, like, Kind of begs the question of like where exactly is the place that Ren was referring to and where was Shara born? So I heard you like chess, you pervert. Listen. Now luckily Shara's legal. She's 18, I believe, at this point. Right? Shara's 23 in first chapter, I believe. I wanna say so. Let's just pretend that she is. <laughs> No, I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure she's 18 right now. So she kind of gets her start a little older than when Estelle and Joshua do. Alright, so we're in the... Uh, this is now the West Block, I believe? We've gone from the East Block to the West Block. Tear Bomb. If you wanted that badly, you could have asked. 
I want to say that's progress, so let me go over here. I could certainly be wrong. No, because we already... No, we did not come through this part of the room. That's what's going on. Sorry, but the legendary item drop is in another chest. That's not true. There's there's no random chest drops, I think? Well, other than that uh, instance I pointed out about the... The way the game is programmed to give the weapons for the party members you have on you during the gold and silver roads. I think there's something else like that in another part of the game as well. But overall, true random drops now doesn't happen in chests. That'd be crazy. Guess it's locked. I know it is. Just shut up. You'll break my concentration. Oh, my bad. Sherzar took out a wire and inserted it into the keyhole. Yay, we're finally in the West Block. Been waiting to come here. You, we're finally back on the surface. It's evening, too. That took longer than I thought it would. We should hurry. Of course. Are you alright, though? What? You look kind of pale. Are you feeling tired? Maybe we should rest a little before moving on. I'm fine. I've had enough training to handle this level of physical activity, thank you very much. Don't underestimate the stamina of a bracer. I, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, what the hell? She was never more than a few steps behind me at any given moment. How is she still fine? She never seemed out of breath even when we were being chased by those guys, come to think of it. I feel like there were a few times when she was even ahead of me. What is up with this girl? Is this like nothing to her? Are you absolutely sure you don't need to rest? I do have a few snacks on me. Would you like me to share some? It's okay. I'm definitely fine. Right now, we need to focus on getting onto the guild so we can hide out there. Food breaks can wait. We might have run into a lot of trouble on the way, but the request was to show her around the capital. I've done that. Now all I need to do is get back to the guild, and this request is done. I win. Come on, get a move on. I still feel like it would be a good idea to rest at least a little, though. Are you certain you're alright? How many times do I need to repeat myself before you get the message? To hell with it all! It's Nile. Hide! I was up all night working that damn story. All night! Who the hell does Natisha think she is? The better the scoop, the hotter it needs to be caught. Does she think I don't know that? Ugh. Good old 24-year-old Nile. What do you think he's talking about? I've got no more idea than you do. Maybe he's using some kind of code like those men from earlier. Or not. He couldn't be one of them, could he? Do you think he could be? Damn it all! I can't be sure. Just look at his eyes, though. He doesn't look like a man who makes an honest living to me. <laughs> I see what you mean. We've come this far. There's no way I'm letting us get caught now. We need to proceed carefully and deliberately. Let's see if we can find another route. Ah, if I remember correctly, that house over there is empty. This way, follow me. The vacant house plays a role yet again. For Adios' sake, if I could get conclusive- Oh, come on. I would have done it already. Freaking auto text. You can go back and read it yourself. You read this yourself, too. Come on. Can't believe Falcom didn't account for the fact that someone would have to read this aloud someday. Wait, he works at the villa now, doesn't he? Oh, Raymond, his, uh, his buddy at the villa. Just my luck. That's ages away.
Maybe you should get away from the door. I don't know. Pretty sure this has an upstairs. So they're just still there. Oh man, this is like the uh, the night of patrol during first chapter. We we're avoiding the uh, royal army. Come on! Why are there still so many of them going around? How can we get to the guild like this? I think we're going to have to spend the rest of the night here, unfortunately. It won't need to come to that. I think I can find a good opening. We can force our way through. It's just a case of finding one. I don't think that's a good idea. We need to be careful and rest while we can. As logical as that sounds, I'm not buying it's her real reason. Get a grip, Shara. I can't let my emotions get the better of me. There's no guarantee we're even safe here, you know. I still think the safest option in the long run is to get to the guild no matter what we have to do to get there. Hey, where do you think you're going? I think the second floor is a better place to rest than the first. We'll find it easier to escape from here than we would from below. This should be a good spot. Wait one damn minute. This is your safety we're talking about here. You could stand to listen to me. Those men will be patrolling carefully for the rest of the night. They aren't going to give you the opening you want. Or at least I don't believe they will. We've made it this far, so I think it would be best for us to rest tonight and resume trying tomorrow, don't you? Trying to do what? Pardon? You're still hiding something, aren't you? For one thing, you're awfully familiar with this city for someone who claims it's her first time here. You also seem to know a lot about those men and what they will and won't do, too. What exactly are you really after? It's plain as day at this point that you want more than just not to be caught by them. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have asked to be shown around the capital. Not that I think that's what you want either. What's your real goal? Well, no answer. The work we do is based around trust. We can't accept requests from people who won't tell us what they're up to, or who knows what kinds of crimes we could be abetting. Go on. The whole thing about that inheritance was all a big fat lie, wasn't it? Something about you'd been setting off alarms since we started running around together. Strike that. Since you first came to the guild. Why did you lie to me? Um. The story about the inheritance is true. I swear it. I... I want to go to Grand Cell Castle. I really am the one to whom my grandfather gave his fortune. But I haven't finished the necessary procedures to truly inherit it yet. Until I complete the required paperwork in Grand Cell Castle's administrative room, I'm not legally allowed anything. And that's why there are so many of those men in black around that area. All of my relatives know exactly what I need to do, you see. So they're trying to make sure I can't do it. Still, if I don't keep trying to move forward, I'll... What a mess. Well, okay, for argument's sake, let's assume that I believe all of what you've just said. Why am I only hearing about it now? Um, that is... You thought I'd want in on that money, didn't you? If I did and I knew everything, I'd have all the opportunities a greedy girl could dream of to take it when together with you. That's what you thought I'd do, isn't it? I'd play along and then steal it all for myself the second a chance presented itself. Do I look like that much of a scumbag to you? No, you don't. That's not it at all. After I lost Grandfather, I lived all on my own. But the second his will became public, I had crowds of people descending upon me. People who, like you said, were interested only in claiming his fortune for themselves. They all started to live in mine and Grandfather's house, and before I knew it, my once peaceful life was shattered. One day, someone would push me down the stairs. Another, I'd taste something funny in my food. These kinds of things began happening on a regular basis. Legally, they were my relatives while I was a minor, so there was very little I could do. I tried reasoning with them at first, but in the end, 
I had no choice but to leave home myself. I wandered the highways alone, going from place to place and trying not to be discovered. But I knew that while I could hopefully avoid being caught that way, I'd eventually just be declared as missing and presumed dead. Besides, after I'd left once, even if I did go back home, I knew I'd promptly be locked up somewhere and reported as still missing regardless. Grandfather's will would be declared as invalid in, mo in time, and my relatives would blissfully share their newly bequeathed wealth between them. I hated the thought of that happening. That was why I decided to return here to the capital. Even if it's the last thing I do, I will formally inherit what he wanted me to. That was why I decided to try and get an escort from someone I could trust. So it's not that I don't think I can trust you, not at all. And, um, I will admit that wanting to explore the capital was a lie. I'm sorry for deceiving you. <sighs> You're a great A moron. I'm sorry. You could have said all of this from the beginning and saved us a lot of headache. If I had known what you were trying to do, I would have been able to formally escort you where you want to go. And the guild would have been the safest place for you to hide out, too. We wouldn't have ended up in this dump instead. I suppose you're right. I... I was just... scared. I'd never be able to forget what I saw that day. What I saw in the eyes of everyone who gathered to hear that will read. The horror I felt when I saw it. Madness. Insanity. Cold, murderous light. Emotions that no one can explain. That no one can put into words. It wasn't visible for long before they managed to push it back below the surface and out of sight. But it was still there. Because now, I believe that's something that all of us possess naturally. Human beings are capable of limitless cruelty. Every one of us. And that realization's left me terrified of us all. It's not that I don't trust bracers. It's just that been so scared. I I'm so sorry. I know I shouldn't have wasted your time with any of this. Um, I... I should never have gotten you caught up in all of this when you were busy enough already. Just forget that I- Listen. Huh? It's my policy to give 100% to all work I undertake. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I've wanted to be strong and to live with my head held high. I still believe I was right to feel that way. And yes, I've lived my hardest until now. But you've made me notice that there's something wrong with my attitude. I'm not going about it the right way. And it's made me realize anew that I want to be able to keep living with pride in my every step. So no more saying sorry, okay? I want to see this job through to the very end. So, where was it in Grand South Castle that we needed to go again? The administrative room. The deadline for submitting the paperwork is noon. N noon Noon today? That barely leaves us any time at all. Why are you only telling me this now? It has to be filed within a month of the deceased passing away. That's the law here in Little Burrow, apparently. Alright, I never was much good at this legal stuff. I bet Kurt knows it all by heart, though. He did seem like the type who might. <laughs> Let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. As long as we do as we discussed earlier, we should be able to handle this. We're getting inside the castle, and they're not going to stop us. Miss Sherizard, I really am glad that you were the one who undertook my request. The more time I spend with you, the more I realize you're really someone dependable, who relies on the, their own strength to live. You're blowing my merits out of proportion, I think. Also, can we stop with the Miss Sherizard now?
The way you say it, it just makes my name sound ridiculously long. D does it? It does. It feels like our conversations take twice as long as they should because of it. Well, if you insist. And now you know all there is to know about what I want to do. So, I would like to formally request again that you escort me to Grand Cell Castle. You got it. You'll get there. I promise you that. Thank you. Save that game. Alright, so we have control and we're in the west block. Let's go back. Nope, we can't go inside. Oh, you can use it to rest. I didn't know that. Wish I had EP for the love of God. Jesus. Let's go inside the liberal news. Could that shady man be here? No, I guess not. Very nice that we ran into both Niall and Dorothy. Before they ever knew each other, undoubtedly. Here's the Barrel Coffee House. Hello there. Interested in having breakfast here? We're best known for our curry and our coffee. I wholeheartedly recommend them both. Oh, Beryl. You and your adventures. You and your loving the books I collected in first and second chapter. I was beside myself when I read about Sean Holden's passing in the liberal news yesterday. I knew he was well known for being rich, but I don't remember ever reading his age anywhere. I didn't realize he was that old. Hmm. Interesting that they would bring that up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect an NPC to know. Phew, that's the week all fixed. Now to head out and do a good day's work. Hey, did you know it's almost time for the Archbishop's sermon to begin? I should get over to the cathedral. Oh. Archbishop Current. We can see him in the past. Not that he'd be all that different. He's an old guy. Hmm. My husband's hobby is quite an unusual one, isn't it? I think it's lovely, though. If you ask me, being able to spend time surrounded by natural greenery is the definition of bliss. I do research on the cultivation of crops, you know. It's not a full-time occupation or anything, though. It's just something I do as a hobby. It's a boring-ass hobby. Let's go to General Morgan's house. Oh, Rian? Maybe isn't even born yet. Rachel's in her final... Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Rachel's in her final month of pregnancy now. My husband should be coming over from Hawking Gate any day now. I can hardly wait to see my grandchild. Very nicely done. What should I do, though? First, you need to try and calm down. How about starting by giving some thought on what to call the baby? What to call it? How about Rien? That'll probably work out. Oh, that would be her mother. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm sure everything will be fine. You've got nothing to worry about. I'm right here with you. So would Irving be uh, General Morgan's son-in-law? I assume Rachel is his daughter, but it could be the other way around. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Where have we not been inside of? Uh, just the chapel. Can't go inside of uh, the port, can I? Who are you? If you head over to the port, you can see all kinds of foreign ships there. They come here from Azalea Bay, passing through the Rubine River along the way. There's lots of cargo ships, too. It's hard to get bored just watching them all. Can I actually... No, I can't. Darn it. Oh, well. This way leads to Grand Cell Port. Are you tourists interested in taking a look around? Yeah, I am, but they won't let me. Let's go inside and uh, maybe see Archbishop Current. At times, all of us lose our way. That in itself is nothing to be feared. What is truly terrifying is not noticing that it has happened or realizing it and willingly turning one's eyes from the truth. It may be necessary at times to pluck up the courage to look back at the path we've tread. Still, there is nothing to be afraid of in doing so. Adios will always show us the way if we look to her. Father Revel, many people came flocking to this cathedral in search of safety during the Hundred Days War too. That's no surprise of course. To the people of the time, Grenzel protected by the Onenberg Wall was their final hope. Oh, Adios, please guide us all. 
Sisters of the Church sure are amazing, aren't they? They spend their days offering prayers to the goddess so that we might be able to live our lives in peace. Ah, what a wonderful job. This cathedral is one of the oldest buildings in La Pearl, incidentally. It stood here for hundreds of years, acting as a guiding light for the people of this nation for generations. It's also very large, which makes cleaning it all a mega pain. <laughs> there possibly anyone in the side rooms? I doubt it. No one up here. No one's ever up there. I think the only time we've ever had to go on, uh, upstairs for, uh, in one of the churches was, like, when we had to track down, um... What was her name? Is it Errol? The cat that you have to find for that one woman in first chapter? Oh, who might the two of you be? Oh, this is the guy that was aboard the Lusitania. This is Nielsen. The sound of your footsteps is unfamiliar to me. I presume that this must be the first time we've met. Uh, yes, it certainly is. Um, am I correct in assuming that you must be visually impaired, sir? Yes, I am. If you'll forgive me for saying so, you're a rather unusual pair, aren't you? One of you is a bracer, I believe. <laughs> There's no need to be so surprised. The air you have about you reminds me of other bracers I know, that's all. I may have lost my vision, but that has allowed me to see things in a way I couldn't before. R really? That's incredible. I'm due to meet someone here. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. I'm planning on doing some research on Lil while I'm here too. After all, this is the nation now known for repelling the mighty Erebonian Empire. I'm eager to see if I can find exactly where that strength came from. <laughs> this should prove to be some very interesting research. So this is Grand Cell Cathedral. It has a truly solemn air to it that even I can sense. Interesting that he would show up uh, aboard the Lusitania in here. But we did meet Alden as well in Grand Cell, so maybe they took the chance to... Uh, Put a couple of NPCs you run into, like naturally in this game, to uh, put them in like the one place that NPCs show up again in this game. Very cool. All right, let's get a move on. So, are we supposed to be going to the south block, or are we supposed to be going straight to the castle? Uh, I'm so tired. I guess I'll just scarf down some breakfast in the coffee house. I hear their curry is very good. Nope. I guess we're going uh, straight to the castle. I sort of lost track of our conversation. It's amazing. You would think I'd know everything, remember everything that we talk about in these conversations, given that I have to read them, but sometimes my brain fails me. Sometimes I'm thinking ahead to other things we're going to be reading in the near future. <laughs> Look at this Metal Gear shit that's going on. Hmm. I knew you'd come eventually. Today's your last chance, after all. It's a cat. You're kidding me. A cat? No, wait a sec. There might be something else inside. <laughs> what? A cat uses a decoy? That would never happen in this franchise. Don't let your guard down. I know. There they are. Too late. Hey, I got a preemptive attack out of that one. Good. Ooh, and I have 200 CP now. But they're not close enough to all hit with uh, with uh, the Sylphen Whip. Oh well, we'll use Bind Whip. Get over there and hit him with your suitcase, Aina. Alright, that's one down. That was cool. If not all that effective. Two down. Way to go, Aina. Oh, I just had a range. Take that. Now, luckily, the NPCs you guide automatically heal after battle, I believe. So as long as they don't die, it's really to your advantage that they uh, eat some hits that you would uh, otherwise. This isn't good. Now's our chance, Aina. All right. Is more of them? No. Nice of you to finally show yourselves. 
What's the holdup? Why haven't you made an example out of them yet? Our client's waiting. Get a move on. You really gonna regret messing with us, kids. I hope you don't expect to just be able to walk away after showing yourselves. First, I'm gonna kill you. The other young lady can live a while longer. She's still useful. As long as we can get her to write her own will, it'll save us having to forge one later. You really think this will be that simple? Hmm. If you think saying that is going to unnerve us, you've got another thing coming. Aina, you can still run, right? Y yes I'll take all these guys on myself. While I'm doing that, you run. What? Y you can't take this many opponents on yourself and have any chance of winning? You'll... Huh, <laughs> not going to beg for mercy, I take it. You've got something you need to do, and so do I. So let's just do them. Don't worry about me, as if I have any intention of dying here. What are you even talking about? Yeah! Ugh! D damn you! Go, Aina! But... I said go! You seem to be having a little trouble over there, Sherazard. What? It's Kurt! Who the hell are you? C kurt What are you doing here? Being a good boy. Have you forgotten that I'm affiliated with Grand Cell Branch of the Guild? I see nothing odd about my presence here. Well, I know, but... I'm happy that you seem to have realized exactly what it is that you must do. But I can't say I'm as pleased about how willing you appear to be to throw away your life without first exploring other options. I I'm sorry. I can't entirely fault your decision from the perspective of a bracer, but I'd like you to give a little more attention to your surroundings. I'm well aware that you seem staunchly opposed to relying on others, but take a good look at the situation you're currently in and tell me exactly what it is that you should really be doing. Kurt, can you take care of things here for me? Certainly. Look at Kurt, look at this badass! Go! Summon lightning! Do it, Kurt! Yeah! Kurt's so cool. Now, Aina! Right! They're getting away! Half of us should be enough to take care of this guy. Everyone else! Ugh. What? Sorry for the delay, Kurt. Not at all. I've always been taking care of them as it is. It's Gundalf. <laughs> I think we maybe talked to Gundalf like once ever. Huh, you sure do work fast. Though I'm more surprised to see that obstinate young lady finally come to her senses. When she was with the Zeiss branch, she was more like a wild boar, always charging forward without stopping to take a look around her. <laughs> I've always known that she has what it takes to be an excellent bracer. She merely lost sight of something important and needed to be put back on track. Given the opportunity, she was always perfectly capable of doing so. She'll be able to get much stronger than she is, now that she's righted herself. I'm sure of that. Ah, to be young again. C quit acting like we're not even here! Kill them both! Good luck with that. Will Kurt die in the past? Well, probably not, given that we know him in the future. They're sure taking their time. The hell are they even doing? Now, now, there's no need to be so hasty. Capturing her isn't even necessary to the plan as far as I'm concerned. As soon as the noon bell chimes. T true as that may be. Sure, that would invalidate the will and ensure she doesn't get all of the money. But it'd also mean you have to share it with everyone else. Which means our share will end up going down. I'd kind of like to avoid that if we can. Don't you worry, we've got plenty of options. Remember, you're only dealing with a single young girl. What? Uncle? Why? Oh dear, what are you doing here, Aina? I keep telling you how dangerous it is to go venturing outside. And alone at that. You blind old man. She isn't here alone. 
Oh, I can see you getting in my way. <clears throat> it's just like they don't even care if they kill Aina in the process. Tis, tis. That wasn't a very good shot. I take it marksmanship isn't exactly your forte. S sorry, sir. Sherizard, what is it? Let's just force our way through here. We don't have time to mess around. Got it. It's time to come along home, Aina. Everyone's waiting for you, you know. All right, let's fight them. I think uh, her uncle just acts as a uh, as like an NPC in the fight. I wonder what would happen if I killed him. Does it matter? Like, who cares? Quit trying to run away. Oh, yeah, we gotta get rid of him. I missed! How did he manage to avoid that? Aina's dead. Shit. They really targeted her. I mean, the fact that that took two fucking turns. Yes, Aina died in the year 1197. Never saw her again. Try this again. God damn it. Why is this evasion so high? He has got to go. Be really nice if I had a fucking orb man. I'm blinded? Are you serious? Did I get like a No? I that's bullshit! I don't have arts! Like come on! That's fucking garbage! And I have nothing that can heal it. Like this Is there something I'm missing? Did I have like an opportunity to I don't know. Get to uh, more curative items or actually build up an orbit? I don't think so. This just fucks me over. I mean, I could try and come back and win this, but god damn, that put me in the hole. Okay, where's Aina at? She's maybe a little bit more than half health. Take this. Come on! Why the fuck is he so evasive? It's ridiculous. He's so strong. Try it again. Oh, come on. I guess I... The game's telling me to ignore him, I guess. I don't remember this being so difficult. All right, that guy's out. Okay, let's bring Aina back up. Unfortunately, oh, it does tell you what uh, everyone's HP is. So I do know how much her max is. Tear bomb's fine for her. Her sets are not actually that high. Take this. Oh, they gave her a unique cut in. That's cool. He deserved it. My money. <laughs> That's nice. They even gave him a unique line for beating his ass. I love it. Oh, it's just you and me now, buddy. You're done. All that experience that does me no good, as well as a tear bomb. I think the door is over. I don't think there's another battle. Very strange they give you anything. Boy, did he rub me the wrong way. Can I give him another crack with my whip? Just leave him. I can't even bring myself to feel anything towards him anymore. I still don't think he was originally a bad person, though. He'll come around when the whole inheritance matter is settled. 
You really think so? I think you're being naive, to be honest. He was trying to kill you, you know? If he does anything to cause trouble again, I'll hit him myself. With this bag. That sounds painful. What are you doing? Here's the army. Are you guys corrupt? What an idiot's name happened out here. You there, throw down your weapon at once. I'm from the Bracer Guild. What? The Guild? Shares Art showed the soldiers her junior Bracer badge. So you are. Still, what's a Bracer doing here? Her Majesty may recognize the Guild, but that doesn't make it all right for you to cause a commotion right outside the castle. I had a reason to believe that these people were responsible for numerous criminal acts within the capital. I knocked them out for the sake of peace and order in Grand Cell and the safety of its people. So could you do me a favor and arrest them? I haven't covered that part yet. Uh, well, very well. Ordinarily, we'd be taking you away with us as well, but I'll let you off this time. You know what to do. Right. Still, while you may have gotten away without punishment this time, don't expect to be so lucky next time you try and overreach your authority. Protecting the capital is our job, and we'll show no mercy to anyone who causes trouble, bracer or otherwise. Oh, is it? Cool, can I ask another favor then? There's a bunch of their friends still in the city. You couldn't take care of those, could you? Of course, last I saw, Kurt was with them, so you probably won't have a, to lift a finger there either. Ugh. You two, follow me! Sir! <sighs> I'll never get used to dealing with the army. What? Oh, I was just impressed by how much authority the, the Bracer Badge wields. You were kind of cool. That was the first time I've tried using my badge like that, I'll have you know. But never mind my badge now. We're running out of time. We need to hurry. Right. Yeah, maybe it's something you'd be interested in someday, Aina. You, we're finally here. <sighs> I can't believe a girl like you could actually keep up with me running full throttle. Anyway, get that paperwork done, quickly. I'll be watching from here. Okay, I'll be as quick as I can then. Now we finally get to see the administrative room doing its actual job. It does serve a purpose. People actually do work in here. Ah, bureaucracy. It exists even in Zemuria. Aina put her signature on the necessary paperwork. I'm really happy for you, Aina. Congratulations. Um, Sherizard, it looks like I need a witness to sign this. A witness? You wouldn't be willing, would you? Sh sure, if you're okay with me doing it. Of course I am, silly. In fact, I want it to be you. Then I'd be happy to. I never thought the day would come when I would be called as a witness for something like this. Or that the day would come when I'd be able to proudly say I was a senior bracer. Or that I would be able to feel overwhelmed with pride over something in the first place. The undersigned Aina Holden shall hereby inherit the property of Saul John Holden, as outlined in his last will and testament. Witness, Sherizard Harvey. Thank you, Sherizard. It's finally over. That's this request wrapped up, right? Actually, no. There's one more thing I need to do. We're still not done? Um, could you possibly bring me an application form? I'd like to make a donation to Her Majesty's Welfare Foundation.
So it begins. Cheers. Ah. I still can't believe you gave all of that money away. Okay, maybe you don't need all of it, but you'll still need some to live, right? I suppose you're right. What I did was a little strange, but I made up my mind to do this from the very beginning as a matter of principle. When I said I didn't do any of this for the money, I meant it. Still, congratulations on becoming a senior bracer. I'm not sure what the difference between a senior and a junior bracer is, but it's clear that this is something you really worked for. It means I have a lot more authority, but I've got a lot more responsibility to go with it. It also means I get a nice new badge, but I wasn't even interested in that personally. Oh, really? Yep. I'm relieved to hear that. I see you're finally beginning to understand the necessary mindset to be a bracer, Sherizard. Crap, it's Kurt. Um, this... this might look like alcohol to you, but it's actually... water? As today is admittedly a cause for celebration, I will turn a blind eye to your drinking tonight. I would think that she'd be able to drink by now. Maybe she's not 18. I thought she was 23 in first chapter, and... I mean, not that it's ever expressly stated what the drinking age in Zamuria is, but I thought it was 18. And that uh, anyone under that's still a minor, kind of like it is in most places in our world. Just don't go drinking so much that it interferes with your ability to do your job. Fine. What is it? As you're fully aware, Sherizard, you are now a senior bracer, which means you must behave with more responsibility. Which means I expect to see an end to you drinking in every free moment between jobs, day or night, and sneaking out at night for it, too. I also expect n to no longer discover that you've been taking advantage of the busiest times in my schedule to behave like a drunken lunatic. I... uh... Is that really what you usually do, Sherizard? You sound like a tired and true troublemaker. D don't say anything. Are we clear? I yes, sir. <laughs> There's no need for the sir, of course. We're both senior bracers now, which means we're both on equal standing. Why, I'm hardly even a veteran. I'm still very much a rookie. Are you now? Says who? Regardless, this isn't what I'm here to discuss. The matter I came for concerns your uncle, Aina. I came to make sure you are aware of the fact that the Bracer Guild is capable of asking for leniency in its punishment. Hiring a Jaeger Corps for personal use carries a very grave punishment, you see. A Jaeger Corps? Are you referring to those men dressed in black? Yes. They're one of many corps that are known to be active here in Laboro. Recently, there have been many such corps making their way into the country, and they've been successful in finding work, too. Hiring them is, of course, illegal, but with the army as slow to act as they currently are. I've taken the chance to take care of them, though, so we shouldn't see any sign of them in the future. Take care of them? All of them? Now it makes sense. So it wasn't a coincidence that he showed up when he did. He's been investigating all the Jaeger Corps in Little Pearl so that he could start an operation to wipe them all out? No wonder he seems so swamped. The Jaegers in the country have been targeting wealthy individuals in hopes of getting them to sign contracts. There have been countless cases like this all over the country of late, with civilians getting caught up in it at a worrying frequently. Goodness, I believe the case we're dealing with here was no exception, and that it was the Jaegers who came to your uncle rather than the other way around. It's hard to feel too much sympathy under these circumstances, but in a sense, your uncle was a victim in all of this as well. What? What are you trying to pull? Just because the Jaegers approached him and not the other way around, he's a victim? That he deserves to get off with the slap on the wrist? And Aina's supposed to be okay with that? He tried to kill her! Shura, please calm down. There's no need to shout. I I'm sorry, but still! No one is saying he doesn't deserve to be punished for his actions. All I'm here to say is that if, and only if, Aina wishes, the guild is able to request leniency in his citizen. That is all. 
Uh, oh. Phew, you scared me for a minute. You need to make your decision immediately. Questioning him will take roughly a week, as it is, based on what I've heard. You bear no responsibility to even make any choice at all, so please don't feel as though you have to think long and hard about this. Just please be aware that the possibility to forgive him exists, that is all. Alright. Incidentally, should you ever find yourself in need of assistance with anything in the future, the Bracer Guild is always available to aid you. We're certainly not omnipotent or infallible, but we'll at least strive to do what we can to aid those who want our help. Thank you. I'm really sorry for not telling you the whole story from the start, too. Please don't be. With the situation you were in, your reluctance is quite understandable. Furthermore, one who is worthy of being a full-fledged bracer should be able to tell roughly what a client wants just from looking at them. It should also not, under any circumstances, try to chase away a potential client in genuine need. Ouch. I've still got a long way to go then, huh? Certainly, but don't we all? Alright, I've said what I came to say, so I'll be excusing myself now. Ah, uh, really? You could stand to join us for a drink. I'm afraid not. I still have my duties as guild receptionist remaining after all. As for you, Shara, be careful you don't have too much water. Man, Kurt is such a good dude. Crud, why's he always gotta be so serious? Oh, actually. How about you, Aina? Can you handle your liquor? If you can, you should join me for a few drinks. Oh, well, alright then. Um, you sure? Really, really sure? Of course. You've done so much for me, How? so how could I refuse? Joining you for a few drinks is the least I can do. Hmm, <laughs> then let's get to boozing. Tonight's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see what a prim and proper girl like her looks like when she's drunk out of her mind. This is going to be awesome! Well, cheers. I'd seen girls just like her on the other side of that river. Silky blonde hair, beautiful blue eyes, smooth skin. The blessed, blissful children on the other side dressed like royalty and smiling like angels. Seeing them, I asked myself the same question over and over again. Why aren't I on that side? I envied them. I hated them. I both longed to be one of them and rejected their very existence. I knew the answer to my question from the very beginning. I despaired in myself. I always tried to avoid others getting too close, believing that to be what I needed to do in order to live. But I could never completely get rid of the tiny, lingering hope deep within my heart. That eventually, no matter how long it took, the day would finally come when I could smile from the heart. That the day would come when I would finally be able to accept and forgive myself for how I was. The next day, Aina visited the Bracer Guild and registered her desire for her uncle to be shown leniency in his sentencing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to accompany her, having been drunk under the table by her the night before. <laughs> it begins! Client finished. Heaven's Eye and 4,000 Mira. Boy, that timed out pretty well. Two-hour door. My goodness. Also, if it wasn't obvious that uh, the case that Kurt was working on for Cassius in that door was looking into the Jaegers. And yeah, she gave all that money away and eventually went on to be receptionist at the Roland branch. That's a really good door. It's That door uh, very appropriately proves my my uh, statement in part zero that this game gets better over time. This game continues to age well and things get even better about it. And uh, seeing a little bit of like Shara's internal struggle. Very good. I appreciate that very much. All right. So when we pick up next time, in case we forgot, there's a main story we're supposed to be doing. We uh, cleared out the trials at Layla's cell. And uh, at the main lodge, it is turned to nighttime. And I'm pretty sure when we go back there and go outside, we're going to have an end of chapter boss fight. Now, here's another thing. 
once we finish this chapter, what is this, chapter four, I think, or five, excuse me, chapter four. So uh, when we finish this chapter and officially start the next one, we need to do some catching up on doors because they're starting to pile up. So let's look at the doors we got. So here's the thing. Now that we have Agate, we can actually go back to Moon Door 1. You remember when we finished it, Tita was like, it seemed like there was still more that we could see. Well, it just so happens that once you get Agate, you can see the second half of the door, I believe. I believe it requires both of them. So that'll be cool to see. Um, see, we've done Moon Door 2. We're waiting on Moon Door 3. I'm delaying that one. And we don't have Estelle, so we can't do Moon Door 4. Same goes with the uh, Sun Door 2, but we've done the first and third ones. And Star Doors. We've done one, two, three, four, five, and but not six. So Star Door 6 and uh, Moon Door, second half of Moon Door 1, as well as uh, Moon Door 3. So I think the start of the next chapter will be a good time to start catching up on these doors before they start piling in on us. Because we still have a lot that we have not found just yet. We are missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve doors. Jesus Christ. These star doors are going to start piling in very quickly. It's amazing we've only found six of them, to be honest. So, next time, finish out the chapter, see how it ends, see how uh, whatever struggle we're going to have to face is going to be, see what it is. And then, uh, we start up chapter 5, we'll, we'll start uh, thinking of a better plan of attack on catching up on some of the doors. See you guys then.